What's up, Space Pirates? This is your captain, the chronically charismatic Dr. Disaster, and I am not going to mince words with the subject of this video. It is getting real out here. A prominent figure in gaming and a defender of Sweet Baby Inc. has called for a final purge of people like you and I from gaming. Wipe them out. All of them. In response to Bounding Into Comics posting this article on Twitter, Mark Kern, the former team lead of the original WoW, said this, which is quite apt. Gamergate 2 just got real. Too real. The BBC are now calling for a final purge if you oppose Sweet Baby Inc. The mask is off. This is the cultural revolution. It is do or die. Jesus Christ! Well, I don't know about you, but I have no intention of being purged from this hobby. By my reckoning, it's time we redouble our efforts. In this video, we're going to discuss what this jackass said, and we're going to talk about what we can do about it, because we will not be bullied out of the hobby that we built. By all that you hold dear, on this good earth, I bid you stand, men of the West! Alright me hearties, make sure you like this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet, and also, don't forget to follow me over on Twitter where my handle is DrDisaster1. But this Jules Hardy person is calling to eliminate us from gaming, and I want you all to see what this is about, so let's read. This is from Bounding Into Comics. It says, BBC gaming presenter Jules Hardy calls for current Sweet Baby Inc. discourse to end with a final purge of ideological opponents from the medium. In the view of BBC gaming presenter Jules Hardy, the best way for the current discourse surrounding Sweet Baby Inc. to resolve itself would be with a final purge of those players who are critical of the general presence of diversity, equity, and inclusion-focused consultation companies within the video game industry. The article then goes on a long-winded explanation of what happened on Twitter. I'm going to summarize it much faster. As you all know, Sweet Baby Inc. Detected is a Steam group with a curated list of games worked on by the woke consultancy company Sweet Baby Inc. Someone made a Steam group for the similar company Black Girl Gamers, and the company Black Girl Gamers got pretty pissed off about it. In response, they tweeted this, We really got you pressed by just existing LOL. We've never worked with Sweet Baby Inc. You all saw Black and Consulting and decided that we all work together. Sounds like racism. We're not stopping, so have fun. Oh, sassy. <laughs> and then this is where Jules Hardy swooped in and said the thing that is pissing a bunch of us off. She said, Can we agree that for round two of this, meaning Gamergate 2, it can be the final purge of these kinds of gamers? It's 2024, I've been arguing about this for decades, can we have a last full detox of these dudes so we can get back to the positive gaming community we have been creating? You keep using the word. I don't think it means what you think it means. These people always talk about their positive gaming experience, their positive gaming communities. They want to make it positive for everyone. Well, I don't know about you, but when we start talking about purging people, I don't view that as particularly positive. And sane people agree, it seems. 
I mean, just look at that ratio. At the time of this recording, I see 552 replies to this tweet to only 84 likes. Let's look at some of these replies. Melanie Mack said, AKA, you want to purge real gamers in favor of activists who can't hang in a multiplayer lobby without having a meltdown, or who can't navigate a single player game without yellow paint, shiny ledges, and the character telling them what to do. That is correct. And then other users said, we're not going to buy those games, let's see who goes away first. Tiny minorities don't get to purge anything. You want to get rid of 90% of gamers? Negativity in gaming exists only where you people show up. Demonizing, otherizing, you aren't the positive force you imagine yourself to be. Ah yes, the final inclusive solution. Are we the baddies? <laughs> yes, sweet baby defenders, you are the baddies. You are the scourge on fun that everyone claims you are. But as usual, Mark Kern had some of the most cutting commentary on the subject. He wrote, Just when I thought I should soften some punches, the BBC steps in and makes it clear. As Cernovich says, it's morally unambiguous now, and that is freeing. It's go time. And it is, folks. It really is. You know, I've been saying for a while now that one of the best things about our position is that we really don't have to do anything to win. All we have to do is nothing. Just don't buy these games being put out by people that hate us. But that's only partially true. We need to push it to the next level. These people, our opponents, are serious. This Gamergate situation is a nexus point for the cultural war at large. You can feel it in the air. That is why Gamergate 2 is taking off in such a big way. And they want to take us out. They want to take us out of the hobby and take it over completely. But I will tell you how we fight back. Make YouTube videos, write articles, tweet at these jackasses, and let them know you aren't going anywhere. Now, don't harass them. Just ask questions and point out logical fallacies, politely but sternly. And this part might sound self-serving, but I don't care, I'm not going to mince words. When creators you agree with tell you to like their videos and to share them, then do it. It takes two seconds. Subscribe to creators that agree with you. Keep pushing the message out as far as it can go. If you know someone who might not have signed up to Sweet Baby Inc. Detected yet, tell them to do it. The people on the other side of this argument keep pushing their message, but we need to send our message, a message of hope, a message that says that we aren't budging an inch from this hobby. But I will leave it there. What do you make of this commentary from this Jules Hardy person? And what do you think should be the response to this scorched earth statement? Drop your thoughts down below, though please keep it calm, keep it rational, and we will talk about it there. Thanks for watching me, Hardies. If you haven't already, your captain is inviting you to subscribe to the channel and become a part of the crew. Life as a space pirate may not be glamorous, but there's always plenty of booty.